We're here today working with the Hurricane Construction Group on the Living Building Challenge um, in this uh, Hampton Roads Environmental Center. Today was our first site meeting. Uh, we met at the office for a while this morning and came out here and visited the site, took a look at the logistics and uh, tried to get a plan together as to how this is going to get built and be uh, energy friendly. Do that to stop all the runoff, the dust, the dirt, and the trash. Chesapeake Bay Foundation issued a, a request for statement of qualifications about a year and a half ago now and we responded specifically because we had previously identified that Horgan Construction wanted to be involved in the sustainability uh, movement that was happening in design and construction. We found that Virginia Tech had done a lot of uh, research and they were one of the leading innovators in the field. Plus, we had already had a relationship with Virginia Tech. We have a group of students who are within the uh, Department of Building Construction at Virginia Tech. And working with Corrigan here, we tried to put together a studio that would be able to uh, understand a lot of the issues of constructability for an innovative site. So throughout Milestone 3, we've kept in mind our overall project goal for the semester, which was to research and recommend suitable solutions to current process and implementing. We had a lot of you know, discussion about sequencing what tasks, you know, now that we have this building, how do we build it and what, what is the order that makes sense and you know, satisfies the living building challenge and all the, those, you know, those criteria. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to present a plan, several plans of actual construction for the building. And then a full 28 days cure. The students in the class had an assignment to come up with a deliverable that said, here's our proposed solution to assist you with the means and methods that will again maintain the integrity of the sustainability of the design. So the building it hinged on four main factors. One is constructability, one is means and methods, one is logistics, and the last one is uh, schedule. Different scenarios that it needs to, to uh, perform within. So it's very difficult in order to come up with one solution for this project. There's so many factors with the base upon productivity-wise, price-wise, scheduling, uh, the face of the building. It made it hard to uh, come to a final conclusion, but I think we gave them a good number of options and then background as to why we chose each one of those options. There are times where you don't always get it right. There are times where you have many good choices, but you need to be able to explain to people well and defend why you went with the choice that you did and learn from that if it doesn't go well. Just really refreshing to get some new ideas, some something fresh. And so it was good to see all of the, the, the great creativity that the students came up with. And they really did a good job of coming up with ideas that really meant something that we could use. Well, we've always thought of ourselves at Virginia Tech as forward thinkers. And I think this opportunity here gives us a chance to not only get involved with stuff that nobody's doing yet, uh, but also gives us a chance to get a foot in the door with a forward thinking construction company like Hurrigan and uh, hopefully set some standards that people will be able to look back on.